Hello guys, welcome back and today. We're going to be talking about Capo Caco and which NHL teams need him the most. Now, a bunch of teams in the NHL right now are going full tank mode, and with Capo Caco being the best winger in this NHL draft, which NHL teams will end up needing him the most? Watch till the end to find out. Now, Capo Caco is looking to be an elite player coming out of this 2019 NHL draft. The 18-year-old right winger is having a purely dominant season in the Liga and is showing to many people why he could be a potential number one overall pick. Now, in the league of this season, he's played 45 games, getting 22 goals, 16 assists for 38 points. In the playoffs with TPS, he's played four games, getting three goals, one assist for four points. And he's looked fantastic over the course of this season in the league, breaking the U18 record for scoring as a rookie. He's just been purely fantastic and has a ton of offensive potential and a ton of offensive skills already that I know a ton of teams would like to have right now. Now, Capo Caco, in my opinion, is the most NHL-ready out of any player in this NHL draft. I see him playing in the NHL next year and having a pretty solid season. Maybe not a Calder candidate type season, but still a very good one at that. He has a lot of offensive tools, has some solid defense, and uses his physicality and uses his big size to create scoring chances. And overall, in the power play, his shot is amazing, his stick handling is amazing. Overall, his hockey IQ is bar none. And Capo Caco just brings a lot to the chase table. He brings that already in the Liga. And I see no reason why it can't translate into the NHL next year, and that is definitely appetizing to almost every single NHL team. But there's a ton of teams in NHL that would die for a player like Capo Caco, so I produced 16 teams that I think he would be the best fit on, divided them into three tiers in want and need, and when it came to Capo Caco, there's a lot of teams that really do need him. Now, Tier 3 is really want, Tier 2 is badly want, and Tier 1 is need Capo Caco. So, we're going to start with Tier 3, and for the first team that I see on Tier 3 is the Anaheim Ducks. The Anaheim Ducks are kind of in a weird position to where Capo Caco would be amazing to have, but I personally think Jack Hughes would be a much better fit on that team. Capo Caco has excellent abilities and would definitely bring that to the Anaheim Ducks, but I'm not sure if they need that butterfly superstar on the right wing. They already got quite a bit of great wingers in their system, and already on the team, and I think will bring a lot of talent to them. So while Capo Caco is an amazing player that obviously I think Anaheim would definitely take, I'm not sure if he's the best fit, and for Anaheim, I'm not sure how they would really produce with him. And with the Anaheim Ducks, I feel like they're much more in need of that bona fide superstar center than they are in that bona fide superstar right winger. I feel like they have a little bit more depth on the wings, guys like Silverberg, Troy Terry, especially on that right side. And in the center position, you got guys like Henry, Getzlaff. And while those guys are solid, I think Jack Hughes would be a lot better of a fit in Anaheim. And while Capo Caco would certainly do great in Anaheim, I'm not sure if the fit is there compared to some other NHL teams. Now, the next team in Tier 3, the next team that I think would really want Capo Caco is the Vancouver Canucks. They're a pretty interesting team to where, yes, they would totally take Capo Caco, but I'm not sure if a complete fit is there. Now, they already got Brock Besser on that right side. I already feel he's the superstar and the superstar to come on that right wing. Capo Caco being that natural right winger, I'm not sure if he's going to really blend into that left wing if he can really transition there, and that's kind of a worry for me. I think Vancouver would totally take him in that already youthful and talented core but I'm not sure if Capo Caco would get too much ice time, even though he's that great of a player. Now, the next team in Tier 3, the next team that I think would really want Capo Caco is the Minnesota Wild. They're a team that I think is pretty interesting to where Capo Caco will be the superstar on that team that they've been waiting for for quite a long time, but I'm not sure if there's too much room on that right wing. They already got Jason Zucker as the first line guy. They're kind of switching both Ryan Donato and Luke Kunin for that second line spot. And I feel like in that right hand position, it'll be a lot easier if you were a left winger, but that right side is a little bit clogged for them. Jason Zucker had that big contract extension, so I don't think he's going anywhere, even though he was rumored to get traded around the trade deadline. So we'll see what happens. I think Capo Caco would be a brilliant player on the Minnesota. He would be the superstar they've been wanting for pretty much since they've been expanded. And I feel like for the Minnesota Wild, it would be a solid fit, but maybe not the best one. Now, the last team in Tier 3, the last team that I think would really want Capo Caco is the Montreal Canadiens. I think they can be a pretty solid fit for Capo Caco if everything turns out well. Now, on that right wing, they obviously have Brendan Gallagher as the first line guy. Then it kind of drops off a little bit. You got Andrew Shaw, Joel Armia, Wheel, I think, on that fourth line. I think at that point, Capo Caco in his first year, if you were to get drafted by the Montreal Canadiens, could play on that second line full-time, play with guys like Jasperi Kakanemi. That finish line would be amazing. Then maybe he gets a little bit better 
and transitions over to that first line, and I think they could work quite well. For the Montreal Canadiens, I'm not sure if it's a perfect fit. I would think they would rather go for a defenseman and sure up that defense for the future, but Capo Caco is still a brilliant player that Montreal would take nonetheless. Now, switching over to Tier 2, the teams that I think badly want Capo Caco, we're first going to start out with the Buffalo Sabres and their team that, back in November, I wouldn't expect them to be on something like this, but here they are, pretty much tanking at this point. They are not looking good whatsoever, and Capo Caco could be just what they need. Now, Buffalo's offense is pretty interesting to where they have some top heavy guys like Jack Eichel, but then the depth kind of trials down a little bit and it kind of goes down in the dumpster, and Capo Caco could fix a lot of that. Now, right now, the first line right winger is Sam Reinhart, but I'm not sure if he's going to be as good as Capo Caco, and I feel like Capo Caco goes in that team. I think he could be the first line guy right out of the bats. I think he could be that good. And for Buffalo Sabres, while their rebuild is still continuing, I feel like a guy like Capo Caco would definitely accelerate that even more than already has, and adding a guy like that to that first line with Jack Eichel could be absolutely lethal. Now the next team in Tier 2, the next team that I think badly wants Capo Caco is the New York Rangers. They're a very interesting team to where they have, in this current rebuild that they're on, they have a lot of solid prospects in their system that are still developing, but Capo Caco would be the piece of the cake, the cherry on top for them. And in that prospect pool, they have some solid guys, but I think Capo Caco would change that franchise for a long time. While Jack Hughes might be a little bit of a better fit in New York, a guy like Capo Caco would slot in perfectly. As especially on that right wing side where it's not the greatest. They don't have too many great strengths on that side. And I feel like Capo Caco coming in would play well out of the gate and would get a lot of attention, but fully deserved on his part because he's such a great player. And I feel like in New York, playing alongside of Mika Zibanejad could be absolutely amazing. Now the next team in Tier 2, the next team that I think badly wants Capo Caco is the Arizona Coyotes. Yes, they are in a playoff race right now, but I still think they could desperately use a guy like Capo Caco, especially going into the future. Now Arizona's had a pretty fluky season, they've had some great goaltending, they've had a ton of injuries, but they've still found themselves in the Western Conference playoff race, although it is still weak. And But for the Arizona Coyotes, I still feel like their rebuild is not quite complete. Adding a guy like Capo Caco though would change a lot of that. They haven't had a lot of lottery success and a lot of lottery luck, especially in the last few years, but getting the OA, their first overall pick and the second overall pick, and picking Capo Caco could change all of that, especially on the forward end where they could use some more depth offense out of the gate. I feel like Capo Caco would bring that and bring it in droves. Now, the next team at Tier 2, the next team that I think badly wants Capo Caco is the Edmonton Oilers, and I laugh there because they shouldn't really be in the race for him. They should be in the playoffs. They should be making the playoffs with Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid every single year, but Capo Caco might just be what they need to bust again. They had Jesse Pugliarvi. They pretty much screwed him up, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with Capo Caco if he does actually go to Edmonton. It might scare me a little bit for his sake, but I feel like for the Edmonton Oilers, I could definitely use him on that right wing. They have a lot of depth issues when it comes to that side especially, and Capo Caco would fix that almost instantly. He would be NHL ready. I don't feel like the Edmonton Oilers playing him in year one would really rush him there, so I feel like he will be fine and hopefully he escapes that Edmonton curse. Now the last team in Tier 2, the last team that I think badly wants Capo Caco is the Chicago Blackhawks. They're also a very interesting team because obviously they have Patrick Kane as that number one right winger. He will likely be that for quite a while still, even if he is 32. But I feel like Capo Caco going on to that team would be huge for that entire franchise. Winning the lottery or getting number two, whatever it might end up being, Capo Caco going on that team would do wonders for them. And as a Dallas Stars fan, I'm not exactly wanting that to happen, but I think it might. And Chicago right now, they're kind of fighting for their lives in the playoff race. They by no means are out of it, but they are kind of in that iffy spot. They could still move up in the draft lottery. It is pretty unlikely, but Capo Caco going over there would be pretty cool to see for a lot of Blackhawks fans and will rejuvenate that franchise with a lot of youth and a lot of talent. Now moving on to Tier 1, the teams that absolutely need Capo Caco, and the first team is the Ottawa Sanders. Unfortunately for them, they almost have no chance at getting Capo Caco because they traded their first round pick, and that just sucks because it'll likely be the first overall pick, and Colorado is definitely thanking them for that, but they need Capo Caco the most. They 100% need They need any player they can get right now, but they pretty much have zero chances of getting him. Colorado has their pick, but you can thank Eugene Melnick for that. 
The next team that needs a Capo Caco and a team that actually has a chance at getting him, the New Jersey Devils. They're a very interesting team. Right now, they're definitely in the mix for one of the top picks in this NHL draft. They've had a pretty rough year, guys like Taylor Hall being injured for most of it. Some things that were out of their control, but Capo Caco will be a brilliant fit on that New Jersey team. Now, Kyle Palmieri is the first line right winger for them, but he likely will not be there for too much longer. I could see him going free agency or something, but when it comes to the New Jersey Devils, Taylor Hall is a left winger. He'll be playing there. But if you have that first line of Taylor Hall, Nico Heischer, and Capo Caco, that would boost New Jersey Devils to more heights than ever and would definitely boost that youthful core that is already pretty solid right now. And the New Jersey Devils kind of need a bunch of things. They need some goaltending. They need some defense. They need some offense. But Capo Caco would fix a lot of issues on the power play on that overall five on five ability. And he brings some of the best talent that they've seen in a long time. While you got great guys like Taylor Hall and Nico Hishier there, Capo Caco has the best potential, I would say, out of any of them to become the best player, even though Taylor Hall did win the MVP just a year ago. That's how good Capo Caco really is. And if he goes to New Jersey, that would be amazing for that entire franchise and, of course, for their entire future. Now, the next team that I think really needs Capo Caco is the Detroit Red Wings. They're a very interesting fit, and I think Capo Caco would be do amazing on that franchise. While Jack Hughes is a great player, and I think he would fit well in Detroit, I think Capo Caco is an even better fit for them. Now, he can't play center, but I think the right wing here is that better position for the Detroit Red Wings. They don't really have too much firepower on that right wing. They have, obviously, Zidania on that left wing, who will be the guy of the future there. But if you have a future first line of Zidania, Larkin, and then Capo Caco, Caco, that would be so fun to watch for a team that needs a lot of fun right now. And while Detroit still has some fundamental problems with that terrible defense, some of the terrible depth for wise and the goaltending that is big question marks, to me personally, Capo Caco would still develop nicely in Detroit, would still become a great and elite player in his own right, and to me, I definitely see a fit there, and the Detroit Ravens would love to take Capo Caco right now. Personally, think needs Capo Caco the most. I have the LA Kings. They're a very interesting team right now. Their franchise is so brittle, so broken that Capo Caco would obviously not fix most of the problems on that team, but man, would he help that franchise. Just bringing the speed, the talent, and the overall ability that he has would do so much for the LA Kings that I can't even imagine it. Like, they have so many bad contracts, so many slow and just old players that Capo Caco would breathe a new fresh air for the LA Kings that they haven't had in a long, long time. And while there's some solid guys on the team already, like Grunstrom and Kempe, who are young, solid players, they don't really touch Capo Caco when it comes to talents and what he can bring, even in his rookie season. With the LA Kings, he, they'll, he'll likely not have too much support on his hands. He'll likely play with a guy like Kopitar if he were to play. But that right side is really nothing besides Dustin Brown. And I feel like with Capo Caco, he would firstly get the first line spot. I feel like he would get the duties over Dustin Brown in his rookie year, just because Dustin Brown has declined a little bit since his reusurgence a couple of years ago, but with Capo Caco, he would be a brilliant fit there. He will bring so much of what LA needs right now, and yes, well, obviously the Ottawa Senators need him the most. The LA Kings are a pretty close second. But there's a lot of teams that need and want Capo Caco right now. There's a lot of teams fighting for those last few spots in the NHL draft, and a lot of teams that are playing pretty bad right now that could definitely use him. He brings a lot of offensive talent, a lot of playmaking ability, and overall a lot of NHL readiness that I know a lot of teams right now would just die to have. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what do you think about Capo Caco? What do you think about his overall game in the league of this season? And of course, the big question, which team do you think needs Capo Caco the most? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about Jack Hughes versus Capo Caco and discussing which player is the better prospect. But that is going up for you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on Capo Caco and which team in the NHL needs him the most. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.